After the smartphone explosion, we started getting children who were accessing pornography at very early ages. And as those smartphones exploded even more, instead of only seeing maybe one child who had been exposed to pornography a year, 100% of our children with sexual behavior problems have been exposed to pornography. I ended up with very, you know, almost violent porn towards the end of my addiction. And that's what addiction does. It, it asks and it asks and it demands. We'll actually show that um, a person who's actually on heroin and pornography, and you look at those two scans and they almost look almost identical. It's such an isolating addiction. This is a brain problem. It's not an attraction problem. We're very concerned about a movement to actually sexualize children, to turn them into sexual rights advocates, and using the school systems to do that. And they have a deliberate agenda. I think it's highly unfair to our young people today that we are you know, bringing them up in this environment and expecting them to not act in pornified and harmfully you know, sexually harmful ways. That sexual violence and the sex industry are on the same continuum. Absolutely, pornography and human trafficking are linked. Until you address pornography, you are gonna continue with the demand. Sex buyers aren't born, they're made. Let's talk about why people think we should legalize prostitution. They believe that it's a victimless crime. They believe it's just consenting adults doing sexual behaviors. They believe that there's no damage to the people who are engaged in it and so they think we should legalize it. The truth is just the opposite. I come out of the trucks. I never had to be sold again from one truck to the other or from one person to another. I never had to go through the abuse again. I never had to be touched again. If we don't address this, who will? Silence is the stamp of approval on injustices.